Hi, so I'm going to do a little video series just to show you the effects of air and the seals on your door, the seals on the air, just how tightly sealing your damper is, and just show you how a well maintained and, and uh, proper operating unit should operate. It will never over overheat, uh, it'll just maintain its temperature. Um, as long as it's got wood, it'll burn and it'll maintain its temperature between your set points. The bottom end of the set point and the top end of the set point. Um, doesn't really matter whether it's got two pieces of wood or chock-a-block full with wood. It's properly maintained and properly set up. It'll just do its thing. Okay, anybody who's having issues with uh, overheating or... It all comes down to air. If air is getting in, too much air is getting in, the file will continue to burn and it'll overheat. My fire right now, there's so much smoke is coming out. Set point. The set point is 185 degrees. And the current temperature is 180. It's basically charcoalized wood. I mean, it's all dry. I loaded that last night at midnight. So this is now oh, tw 12 hours later. Uh, I'll just leave that all day. Probably it'll kick in a couple more times. It's not too cold today. It's only, oh, it's, I don't know, 40-ish, 40 40-something. 40 yeah, so is another test. You can see this fire is burning good and strong. With some cardboard in there, I'm going to close her up and let's see what it looks like, you know, half an hour from now. And we're at 185. 53 minutes later, let's take a look at that cardboard. There's a little smoke coming out of her. So obviously the fire cooled right down. Check the temperature. 183, drop down 2 degrees. And there's the cardboard, completely unburned. Even though we had a roaring fire going in there when I closed her up. So, what does it tell us? It tells us as long as you have a tight seal, a tight door damper, when you close that door and it's not calling for heat or fire, nothing should burn it. So it wouldn't really matter whether you have Two pieces of wood in there, three pieces of wood in there, chock a block full. It's just going to sit where it is. It'll maintain its temperature when it goes drops down to like 175. It'll kick in, break it back up to 185. Runs autonomous, completely separate from the house. So about an hour later, let's take a final look at that cardboard. It's down to 174. You can hear it's vibrating there, the air damper door. So the air damper's open, the door, and of course the cardboard is now all burned up. Simple as that. That's how you run your boiler. Okay, what does a roaring fire look like? Not bad down there. Wait for it up here. One mother in a fire. That is full flame. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I showed you the uh, massive flames there five minutes ago. She's up to 185 now. Uh, it's shut down, damper's closed, but there's actually very little smoke coming out, just a little blip. Let's see how roaring this thing is. Yeah, it's out already. No flames whatsoever, just lots of smoke. 
that's what good tight air seals will do for you. Door seals tight and your damper door tight. No flames. The flames go out instantly.